The modern system of banking in Sri Lanka has its roots in volunteer organizations that brought together the general public in participatory schemes. One of the earliest such movements is the Thrift and Credit Society movement that began in 1906, aiming at uplifting the lives of the people of rural Sri Lanka from the grips of poverty and providing them with financial strength and support. As time went, however, these Thrift and Credit Society schemes began to lose touch with the needs of the people they were meant to serve with the lack of proper direction and leadership and falling to adapt to the changing demands of the times. By 1978, they had lost their purpose so much that the government of the time began planning their orderly winding up and closure. Just as society was about to lose these important channels of financing, the concept of a visionary young man lent them a new lease of life. He saw the utility to society of modernizing these thrift and credit societies and combining their efforts instead of letting them operate in isolation and just how important they would be in strengthening the lives of rural folk. And so it began, a revolution that was born in the halls of a temple in the Walgama village in the Kagala district under the guidance of that visionary youth, P. A. Kirivandenia. Over three days, the historic Walgama conference brought together several thrift and credit societies in the Kagala district to pool their strengths and to serve their members better. This Walgama conference was the turning point on the path to turning the rural economy and financing of Sri Lanka. A giant stepping stone, the decisions and resolutions reached in this conference led to the individual thrift and credit societies operating around Sri Lanka collaborating under a single banner called the Sanasa Movement. P.A. Kirivandenia became the catalyst for an unprecedented alliance of people from all parts of the country. The years of dedication and unwavering perseverance that gifted this world-renowned, unrivaled financing model called the Sanasa Movement to Sri Lanka earned its creator the epithet Vishwaye Asiatika and the title of Vishwa Prasadini, Dr. P.A. Kirivandenia. 1997 marked one of the greatest milestones in the path of success that the Sanasa movement followed. The movement's objectives were so entirely different to the traditional aims of banking known to the Sri Lankan market that it gave rise to a specialist bank based on its underlying vision in August 1997. Its capital was the blood, sweat and toil of the ordinary Sri Lankan. 123 million rupees of the small savings of men and women who labored hard to support their families and the daily economic machinery of the nation. Its aim was and continues to be of benefit to the everyday Sri Lankan whose sweat and toil goes into earning and saving every rupee possible for the benefit of their family. And that is why, even today, the Sanasa Development Bank stands tall as a beacon of financial stability to the nation. Over the last 20 successful years, Sanasa Development Bank has brought innumerable victories to its customers. Looking back, it is abundantly clear that the bank has achieved successes year on year and has rendered many a service to the working masses of Sri Lanka. The bank can no doubt celebrate with unassuming pride the victories of each and every customer that has partnered the bank in its two-decade-long history. The end of the year 2004 cast a pall over not just Sri Lanka but many Asian countries. The deadly Indian Ocean tsunami of 2004 carried away tens of thousands of lives whilst destroying the homes and livelihoods of hundreds of thousands more. In their moment of need, the effort that Sanasa Development Bank put in to help many Sri Lankans get back on their feet is beyond compare. It was no surprise that many international financial institutions and donors chose to channel their financial aid and lending at this time of emergency through Sanasa Development Bank, which enjoyed the unique position of a grassroots bank that is a trusted partner of the ordinary Lankan. 
The bank's highly trusted status is best exemplified by these moments where it stepped in to shoulder the burdens placed on the nation. Yet another unique milestone that Sanasa Development Bank marked was the group credit scheme introduced based on a concept championed by none other than the visionary creator of the Sanasa movement, Dr. P. A. Kirivandenia. It served as a blessing to those small-scale entrepreneurs who wished to step beyond the traditional role of job seekers and became job creators. Small-scale industries and businesses started up and flourished under this credit scheme and by the end of 2013, the beneficiaries of the scheme numbered a record-breaking 64,481 members of 14,311 groups. This immense strength to the SME sector of Sri Lanka was thanks to yet another pioneering idea of the Sanasa Development Bank. The Sanasa Development Bank marked a great year of achievement in 2010 with a milestone that won it international recognition. Being recognized beyond your own shows is a daunting task for any bank and a small bank hailing from an island as small as Sri Lanka will find this task near impossible. However, beyond all odds, Sanasa Development Bank was awarded second place amongst microfinance institutions in the world in 2010, an honor that is spoken of with humble joy. It is a recognition for not just the bank, but for the entire nation. As the bank left its mark in the annals of global microfinance, many international partners wished to join hands with it to strengthen its microfinancing drive. Such partnerships and support are integral to the strength of the bank. It carries out its national responsibility to uplift the lives of many ordinary Sri Lankans. At another turning point on its proud path spanning 20 years, Sanasa Development Bank stepped beyond its initial market of microfinance to banking for small and medium enterprises. Whilst the bank captured the microfinance market, it went on to actively create and support entrepreneurs in the SME sector. Sanasa Development Bank thus became an oasis for Lankan entrepreneurs struggling to rise on their own feet and became successful in their own industries. Today, the bank's objectives have borne fruit as successful Lankan entrepreneurs who benefited from the bank's focus on development of the microfinance and SME sector can be found from every corner of the country. As time progressed, the cooperative societies led by the Sanasa movement began to push beyond their early traditional boundaries of banking namely taking deposits and releasing small loan amounts to their members and focused on investment within the village. These rural investment projects were a resounding success with the villagers benefiting immensely from the large and much needed investment and generating large returns. As a bank born of the thrift and credit cooperatives, the Sanasa Development Bank became an extra pillar of strength to the investment schemes initiated by them offering large-scale loans to these societies to continue their rural investment schemes. Our senior citizens represent the length and breadth of our country's knowledge, experience and memory. Many developed countries tap into the knowledge, experience and expertise of such seniors once they retire from their professions or careers by involving them in other projects useful to their countries. Unfortunately, Sri Lanka is yet to tap into the full potential of our seniors and many valuable assets to our country spend the evenings of their lives forgotten by mainstream society. Sanasa Development Bank has addressed this need by introducing its Upahara loan scheme for senior citizens so that they may begin an economically fruitful endeavor in their retirement. The loan scheme creates an economic climate that is conducive not only for them to engage in an active retirement, but also to begin a new business venture or industry that could potentially generate employment for many more people. The bank, which is always in touch with the needs of Sri Lankan people, has gone the extra mile to recognize and reward this important section of our society. 
Sri Lanka is yet to recover from the debilitating effects of a destructive civil war. Thirty years on, we have lost many thousands of war heroes, rendering many families incomplete, wives without their husbands and young children without their loving fathers. Many of these beloved heroes were also lost to the country, being declared missing in action. Over 30 years, many of our war heroes also suffered life-altering injuries that have left them disabled for life. The families left incomplete and the war heroes forced into retirement due to their injuries and disabilities were in dire need of support and financial strength. And that is exactly what the Sanasa Development Bank did by introducing a special account titled Uttamachara to salute these heroes. The financial benefits of these accounts have helped the families of many of our war heroes to overcome their darkest hours and the bank counts this as one of its major victories. Dire economic need has driven many Sri Lankan women to search of employment abroad. Many of them, unskilled migrant workers, unfortunately chose the option of becoming household labour in the Middle East region. The absence of our women from our households has directly affected our value system and caused many social issues over a long period of time. Whilst the government has identified this disturbing direct link and is now discouraging our women from leaving for this form of employment, the bank too has mediated by providing these women other opportunities for gainful use of their skills and labour. The Uttamavi Women's Account recognises the important position of respect that a woman occupies in our society and wishes to support her to maintain her position in society through encouraging entrepreneurship and discouraging her labouring in foreign lands. The bank's objective through this move is to strengthen our women and directly contribute to the stabilisation and strengthening of the family unit, the primary building blocks of our society. Along with the Uttamavi account that strengthens our women, the bank has also introduced another special account to encourage Sri Lankan vibrant youth, Javaya. The name of the account itself means energetic or vibrant and has been a resounding success as an account encouraging savings amongst youth. The bank has taken many steps to improve the economic situation of the working youth of Sri Lanka through the introduction of this special account. As the bank grows from strength to strength and its presence grows through an expanding branch network, it was imperative that the bank introduced an ATM service. Accordingly, it established ATMs in 2012 as a quick and efficient way for its customers to fulfill their banking requirements. This addition was a useful addition to banking for both urban and rural customers of the Sanasa Development Bank. This first major step towards modern technological usage was a catalyst that served to modernize the bank and lead it towards various technological advancements on its path to future success. The year 2016 was truly the year of modernization for the Sanasa Development Bank. Its journey of success so far needed to embrace modernization to stay updated to the changing times. How the bank took this all-important giant step was by rebranding itself as SDB Bank in 2016, a new face for customers while still maintaining its unique dedication to the betterment, values and humanity of the people of Sri Lanka. However, this was not just a facelift for the bank, but a rethink of the way services are provided to customers all modernized and relevant to the changing times of the 21st century. Now known as SDB Bank, one of the main transformations the bank undertook was the centralization of its lending services for greater efficiency and speed of service. Thousands of small and medium entrepreneurs who subscribed to the bank's large-scale lending benefited from this move, which allows the bank to check process and approve loan applications submitted by any branch of the bank in any corner of the island. The centralization scheme is soon to be supported by a specialized computerized loan application system. 
The program, which is currently being implemented, will increase the speed, efficiency and accuracy which loan applications are analyzed and processed. SDB Bank has always thrived to offer a service above and beyond the traditional concepts of banking. This motivation has always driven the bank to strengthen its customers, the small and medium-scale entrepreneurs of Sri Lanka. Accordingly, the bank has even stepped in to help create an export market for its SME customers, safeguarding and ensuring their supply chains. The bank's unconventional role is what makes it indispensable to the entrepreneurs of Sri Lanka who work hard to ensure the future of Sri Lanka's economy. What's more, the bank has now introduced Palm Top Banking to all its branches as an initiative commemorating its 20 years of service and bringing banking services literally to the palms of its valued customers. This service is specially catered to businessmen of various standing in towns and cities whose busy schedule means that they cannot always find the time to operate their saving accounts or indeed make provision for their savings. The bank's vested interest is the well-being of its customers means that it has now implemented a program to send its officers to the businesses of these customers at the end of each business day to collect contributions to their savings accounts, deposit those contributions and using the modern technology that has now been implemented, credit their savings accounts instantly. The bank has placed itself in the unique position of a partner in helping its customers' savings grow each day. In line with all modern banks, SDB Bank too successfully implements SLIPS, the Sri Lanka Interbank Payment System. This system allows most interbank payments within Sri Lanka to be made without the use of checks, payment vouchers or bank drafts to be carried out both swiftly and securely. The bank's customers benefit from this service much like any mainstream bank in addition to the host of unique services the bank supplies to its niche market. In its quest for modernization, SDB Bank has already made arrangements to implement an online banking system to allow its customers access to instantaneous banking services. Customers will be able to conduct their banking needs from any corner of the world and at any hour of the day, once again bringing the service levels of the SDB Bank on par with all mainstream modern banks and providing its customers all the attendant advantages. STB Bank's uniqueness as a trusted financier is understood by its ability to provide various categories of customers drawn from all ages and walks of life, banking services to suit their specific needs. The financial services it has so introduced for various types of customers include the Upahara, Uttamachara, Uttamavi, Javaya, Dayada, Lakdaru and Top Saver accounts. Amongst them is the Lakdaru Children's Savings Account, which also supports young Sri Lankan children facing their first national competitive exam, the Grade 5 Scholarship Examination. The bank goes above and beyond its call of duty as a financier and annually organizes a series of exam-focused workshops and conferences around the island for potential candidates free of charge. The workshops are always fully booked up and it shows the trusted position the bank occupies in the lives of ordinary Sri Lankans who trust the bank with their future and that of their future generations as well. What's more, the bank organizes an annual event to give away cash prizes and free insurance to its young customers who pass the scholarship exam with high grades establishing its role of a caring corporate citizen in the bank's communities. The bank's well-thought-out banking solutions include the Top Saver account, which is a proud addition to its portfolio in line with its 20th anniversary. The account offers an interest rate of 10%, which is the highest savings interest rate offered in the banking sector, and encourages all its customers to build a saving habit through this rewarding account offering. 2017 marked a proud milestone for SDB Bank. 
SBI FMO and IFC organizations, which count amongst the world's financial giants, recognized the growing potential of SDB and partnered with the bank to invest in its capital. The interest shown by such financial giants is a clear indication not only of the national pride but international prestige SDB Bank enjoys, given its successful and unique banking model. Along with the technological advancement and modernization the bank underwent in order to increase the convenience and efficiency of its customer service, the bank has also taken giant leaps in its sales and marketing practices. Its updated marketing campaigns are targeted and focused on modern Sri Lankan life. Its publicity and promotion strategies even stretch to the domains of social media and websites which are employed by almost all organizations of the world and reaches out to hundreds of thousands of people, increasing the bank's goodwill and outreach as well as generating interest in the bank's products as well. The bank's marketing team has succeeded in many campaigns that have received rave reviews. This includes operating an official Facebook page that allows customers to connect with the bank directly and facilitates the bank to deliver customized solutions and services to each customer. The bank also successfully employs SMS and email to provide banking information and has indeed transcended the boundaries of a small bank serving the SME sector. These modern facilities that are supported by a trilingual call center is open for 365 days a year that provides information and support to both existing and potential customers covering the range of the bank's products and services. Despite its rapid modernization, the bank continues to maintain its strong, genuine relationship with each of its customers. SDB Bank will always maintain and strengthen this bond between its grassroots level customers, no matter how the bank's outlook changes and the bank is constantly working on maintaining this relationship even further. The bank will also continue to provide services above and beyond its duty and push the boundaries of traditional banking by engaging its customers through its three-pronged specialism in consumer, cooperative and SME sector banking. What is evident is that the bank will always deliver higher than expectations well into the future. As youth blossoms in his second decade of life, so does STB Bank as it walks through its 20th celebratory and successful year. Those youthful gifts of perseverance, dedication and unwavering strength contribute to the bank's youthful vitality and will always be the driving force for STB Bank to reach into every corner of the island to uplift the lives of the Sri Lankan people of all walks of life. SDB Bank aims always to bring a trusted and productive banking service to each and every customer and continuous improvement will always be a source of pride on SDB Bank's path of success.